Hey guys, my name is Sang, and I blog over at Sangerson.com. I'm a wife, photographer, blogger, um, and I am basically a creator of the Honey Do List, and my husband actually does them, and his name is Ryan. And we're doing a video series on our uh, Blinds.com signature wood shutters, and so we're doing a video series basically on the installation process and the design and ordering process that we went through. So this video focuses on um, the installation process. It's pretty cut and dry just so that you guys can see what it takes to kind of install them. Um, the first window took about 10 minutes and then the rest of the um, shutters took about five minutes each. It was pretty easy to install. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry. What we kind of focus on is um, ensuring that you know that whether or not your windows are square, there are um, some steps you can take to make sure that the shutters fit perfectly. So with that said, let's get started on um, the installation process. In this video series, we'll be discussing our experience in installing Blinds.com signature wood shutters and any tips and tricks we have from our installation. The area we decided to install our new shutters was our kitchen nook, which has four large bay windows. This is the before video of the white full wood blinds from the previous homeowners. Note that the banquette seating in our kitchen nooks will allow you to see where we chose our divider rails, which provides hints to our visitors that they were beautifully custom built. After ordering the shutters, they were delivered in about three weeks, which is amazing considering we chose to do custom coloring. UPS Freight delivered four large boxes in a pallet right into our garage. It was packaged meticulously and carefully as shown here. All four boxes were labeled so we knew which windows they belonged to. You want to ensure that you select an area in your home to unpack the shutter where you can avoid scratching them. We chose our living room that had a rug, so consider how long you'll have them set out in addition with toddlers and pets running around to gauge whether or not that's the best workspace to keep the shutters. Our shutters fully arrived assembled in the shipping box. Note that it's important not to remove the labels from the shutter panels or frames until all the components are installed. Even though they were fully assembled, we decided the best course of action was to separate the panels from the frames to make installation easy. First, we lay the shutter side that faces the outdoors down so we can access the hinges on the back. There are three hinges that need to be taken loose. As serial DIYers, we have found that the best way to remove hinges is with a screwdriver and a set of side cutters. Next, take your side cutters and grab the pin to pull it up carefully. Then, take your screwdriver to tap it out. At a certain point, you'll be able to pry it out with your fingers, being cautious not to chip the wood. Once you get the pin, place it somewhere safe. Do it for the other two hinges and keep track of which pin goes to which hinge. The next step is to lift the door out of the frame. Lift the door on the magnet side. You should be able to easily lift it up and slide it forward. It should slide out freely and be careful not to slide it out too quickly to avoid chipping the paint. Set the door off to the side and at this point mark which side of the frame is on top so you can keep track of it for future installation. Next we're going to share how we ensured that our shutters would have a perfect fit. With the possibility of knowing that our windows may be out of square, we ordered our shutters just a snidge short on height. We have placed a small 1 8 inch piece of laminate flooring that we had left over. You could probably use anything that's similar in material and width to set the frame on. The plan will be to mount all three hinges all the way up with the laminate in place. The magic is that we can then pull out the laminate and adjust the frame for any out of square the windows are so that the shutters line up perfectly. One of the biggest steps that we missed was to ensure that we had the right bit for our drill for the pre-drilled holes. It required a number 10 square bit that we did not have. Once we were able to acquire one, we then proceeded with the frame installation. We positioned the frame over the opening with the laminate in place. Once we were happy with the frame position against our window casement, we started to insert the installation screw into the pre-drilled mounting holes. The tip is to press firmly and tighten it until secure, and when they are flush with the casement, you should be done. We repeated this for the remaining two holes. Our next step was to pull out the laminate boards that we placed underneath the frame. Notice now that the frame can now go up and down. We set the laminate in place so that it will allow us to figure out whether or not we again need to shim up or down based on whether or not our windows were square. Our next step is to view and measure the gap. The goal is that we want an even gap on top and on bottom. We placed our shutter panels into the frame next. We checked the label to ensure that the top of the shutter panel was positioned up. We lined up the hinges, careful not to scratch the shutters. Once the doors were lined up, we put in the pins and worked the doors back and forth until they were level. 
Next, we took our pins and placed them back into the hinges. It should be easy to push down by hand. If not, we used a screwdriver, ensuring that it's a soft head so as not to stretch the wood to push it down. Next, we'll double check how smoothly the shutters open and close, as well as see how the corners line up against the frame. We'll go ahead and close the shutters to touch the magnet strips. Again, we're checking to see how square it is to the window. We're going to be using a double piece of folded paper as a feeler gauge. We'll see how loose or tight the top and bottom panel is to the frame. In this example window you're seeing, this window feels loose on top and tight on bottom. This tells us that the frame needs to be set a little lower. The next step is then to sand down the laminate, which we will use to set the frame against when we officially secure it to the casement. Acting as our shim, this laminate has now been sanded down with the bell sander to fix the problem in the previous step. We need to ensure that it can be used to mount the frame. After putting it in place, we're going to use a feeler gauge again to ensure that both the top and the bottom feel the same, resulting into a square frame. In this example, they do. We can feel comfortable about using the shim to mount the frame to the window. The final step is securing the frame to the window casement. We swung open the shutters very carefully. We'll start from the bottom and hold the shim sideways against the frame. To securely install the frame to the window casement, we've used insulation screws and drilled them into the pre-drilled mounting holes. When we drilled, we went slab flush when we installed it. We were careful not to over tighten as it can run the risk of splitting the frame. Once we were done inserting the remaining pre-drilled mounting holes and screws, we double checked our gaps to make sure they stayed in place during installation. The result was that the top and the bottom were square, and everything had a free flow gap. Overall, the installation process for our Blinds.com signature wood shutters could not have been easier. After laying out our shutters and reading the instructions, it took us about 10 minutes for the first window and 5 minutes for the remaining windows. Our new treatments now offer us many options to control the view, our privacy, and the light into our space. In addition, our home's curb appeal with our shutters displayed through the window has dramatically increased. We are very happy with how easy it was to install these beautiful and versatile shutters. If you made it this far, thank you. Um, basically, the video was to ensure that you guys kind of knew the tips and tricks. Um, if your window casing isn't square, what you can do to make sure that your uh, shutters fit perfectly. Um, again, we are super happy with how um, the signature wood shutters turned out from Lines.com, and we would definitely recommend it to anyone. So with that said, um, I provide the link down below in the video, as well as um, the link to our video where we talk about the design options and why we chose what we chose for our kitchen up. So you guys can check that video out there. Thanks for watching.